say an example problem for calculating fixed rate depth. So, if you want to calculate the fixed depth, what you need is you need this uh, L1 unsupported length, the embedment length. So, x axis is L1 by R and y axis is uh, Lf by R. And I also need uh, this is chart is applicable only if the embedment length is greater than 4 R or 4 T. The R and T are uh, generally applicable for uh, constant K1 and K2 respectively. K1 is for sand and K2 is for clay. So, we have to calculate R based on I uh, am sorry T is for sand and R is for clay fifth root of Ei by K1. So, what you need is you need the K1 Young's modulus of the pile and uh, moment of inertia of the pile. So, these are the information you need for this problem. So, I may ask this question in the next class next quiz. So, you have to I may give this curve the relationship between L 1 by R and L f by R should be taken from here or L 1 by T to L f by T to be taken. Suppose it is a sand and if it is a fixed rated pile you have to use this curve you have to first calculate L 1 by T for which you know what is L 1 then you have to calculate uh, T for which you need the diameter of the pile and you have to check the applicability L e whether it is greater than 4 T. So, first you have to calculate T for which you need root of E i by K 1 K 1 should be taken from this. So, we will see one problem the top level of the pile this is the dredge level slightly we have to give uh, this this result slightly some mistake is there minus 11 we may this should be about uh, 14.975 you calculate then you calculate T T is equal to fifth root of E i by K 1 it is uh, given as a submerged medium sand. So, you go to the table it is given as a medium sand submerged then the value is 0.525 then you go and substitute here <coughs> 0.525 then you have fifth root of E i by K 1. So, once you calculate the K 1 Young's modulus of the pile that is 5000 root of F C K and moment of inertia that is pi d power 4 by 64 you can get T you substitute the values in kg per centimeter square and things like that. So, kg per centimeter square for Young's modulus uh, centimeter power 4 for the moment of inertia and k 1 is the subgrade uh, submerge k 1 is for submerged medium sand 0 0.525 kg per centimeter cube then you take a fifth root then you will be getting the T value in centimeter. So, you calculate what is L 1 by T L 1 is known <coughs> T you have calculated you check whether uh, the embedment depth is greater than you see here the embedment depth is greater than 4 R that step is not he given here, but you have to check here where the embedment depth is greater than 4 T. T is 3 meters, 4 T is 12 meters. So, your embedment depth is 24 meters minus 11 meters that is 13 meters. This point is clear no? You have to calculate 4 T, 4 T is 12 meters and this distance is 13 meters. So, this is greater than 12 meters then only the chart is applicable otherwise it is not applicable. What it means is you will, it will not have sufficient fixity that is what it means. Then for L 1 by T is equal to 4.9 you have to go to the chart L 1 by T is given here 4.9 will be somewhere here you go here straight like this accelerated pile then L f by T is equal to 1.93 or something like that. So, you have taken L f by T is equal to 1.9. So, fixed depth will be 1.9 into 3 about 6 meters. So, fixed depth is 60. Fixity level will be we know the diameter of the pile diameter is uh, 1 meters. So, it will be about 6 meter 
mi minus 11 plus 6 will be 17 meter this is a mistake we will correct it this is how we have to do any doubts in this hmm? this Wednesday exam I want to give it as a open book exam you can bring anything you want to refer hmm? generally open book exam you people score very less whatever you want you bring it is only problems five problems I will give all the five problems also I have told what are the five problems active air hmm? pressure. pressure differential water pressure, pressure. Along with active I may ask passive air pressure also <laughs> differential water pressure then birthing force pouring <coughs> force then this problem you bring whatever you want you bring some story book also <laughs> I do not mind <laughs> you bring uh, some uh, concrete design book or whatever you want you bring <laughs> and do not ask me any data do not ask me this chart if I give this problem you should not ask where is this chart and uh, this chart also you should not ask everything you should bring and uh, no exchange if you do not have you do not have that is all do not get it from somebody else you should have your own copy you can have an example problem solved and bring that also ok huh? no no you can write separately and bring that also huh? this presentation it is already here you take it from here already here otherwise you go to one uh, Ramya is there in my project you go to her she only made the presentation hmm? when Balamurgan is there he will have all these materials the purpose of giving the open book test is that you at least go through the material in the exam <laughs> so this fixity depth method is generally adopted for preliminary design but if you want to do exact calculation we have to use the spring idealization so this we will discuss in this class Suppose you have rock here and you have clay here, generally it is not possible but sometimes it is possible but for, for explanation I am doing. So this is your structure, it is a portal frame for a building, you have two columns and a beam, this will go in some spacing then you have a slab on top of it. If you want to have the discretization of the structure you take the center line of the structure, center line of the structure and center line of the structure, the center line of the structure. Then what you do is you assume this as fixed, this as hinged. Because it is a clay soil, it will not uh, give sufficient fixity to the structure. So you assume this as hinged and assume this is fixed this for a typical portal frame some some uh, designers what they do is they assume if both the sides are rock or both the sides are clay they assume both as clay hinged do the analysis and they assume both as fixed and do the analysis I will tell you why
anyone can draw bending moment diagram for this? Who can draw the bending moment diagram? You have studied no analysis of structures. Come, come forward, civil engineering students. You come here and draw. One of you come here, come and draw. You draw wrongly also, I will correct it. Who are all civil engineers? I will call you. <laughs> Raise your hand. Be civil. This fellow, this fellow. I want to be civil engineering. So, be tech civil. Okay, that fellow, you come. That middle blue fellow, come here. Okay. Next fellow also come. Both of you come. Who has taught you this analysis of structures, structural yes. analysis? Yes. Huh? Yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. You draw. <laughs> if you don't draw, yesterday also I met him. I will tell him your students did not draw. Why you are removing that force here? <laughs> Let it be there. <laughs> Still you can draw the bending moment diagram. Use the duster. You go totally wrong. Go. Other other BTEX BTEX wheels. Raise your hand here. Yeah. I don't know. You are BTEX wheel. Yourself. Come here. Come here. Who has started this analysis? Huh? Huh? Who has started your analysis of structural analysis? Yes. Only one batch, eh? Yes. Come, come, come on. This bending moment diagram is drawn on the tension side or on the compression side? Tension. Tension. Oh, correct. Next. You know, if you start uh, from the thing which is uh, wrong, then it, everything will go wrong. See, I am asking you to draw because if you really want to go for a core job, they will ask you to draw the bending moment diagram for such things. Hmm? You should be prepared to draw. We, we do not want the values. What we want is the shape of the bending moment diagram. You see the other side and copy. That side he has made some corrections. Left side is, huh? right side is wrong. Huh? Why? Upside down. Huh? This fellow is correct. This side, this is correct. Huh? Come here. Come here. There they are. You draw separate. This LNT ECC group and all know they conduct some uh, written exam, then they conduct an interview also. I also did MTech structures here, I went for the interview. One company is LNT, another is Development Consultant Private Limited. One of my colleague from Mechanical, he went to ATCO, AU to CO. You know mechanical students, this company called ATCO, LNT ATCO? You do not know? ATCO, AU D C O. LNT office, where is it? Main office. Manapakam. Have we gone to Porur side? You know where is MGR's uh, house? Ramavaram Gardens? Do not know any of these things. Please go and see all those things. You are civil engineering student. Huh? That is correct. What is the value at the top? No, no. Compared to the bending moment in the column, you have a bending moment here. Call it as x. What will be this value? 
will it be greater than x or less than x? <coughs> you think that is wrong, it is less than x. Now, force is same, force is the same. See actually the, the problem in this is uh, this uh, when you draw the bending one diagram no, if the, the load if it is uh, something like this and all you may have the bending one diagram like this, this is the problem, this bending moment no, this is the moment here like this and this is the moment here like this, both should be equal and opposite that is a mistake here, that is correct. But the way you people are uh, doing it uh, wrong, what is the reason? Because you are nervous or what? Yes, huh? yeah, I want to know the real reason or you have not uh, solved any problem like this. Have you got a problem like this in the exam? Hmm. Then that question uh, what will be the bending moment for this, this bending, like everything is same yeah, why you are asking? X equals P L sir. Uh, what is the value here? X equals P L by 2. Uh, right, P L by 2. <laughs> Then uh, what is the bending moment there? That bending moment is the bending moment here is less than that bending moment, no? Hmm? So if you are designing a structure, please go and sit down. If this is hinge and this is fixed, the same problem if you are analyzing, the hinged condition gives maximum moment at the beam column junction, right? Whereas the fixed condition gives more movement at the foundation, isolated footing. That is why they do both. Whichever gives maximum value at any point that they take it. If they are not sure of what kind of boundary condition to be adopted. You know why I am giving this problem? What is the reason ask you to do this problem? It's nothing to do with the port and arbor structure. Why I am doing this problem. I do not have time, <laughs> I want to kill time or <laughs> what is the motivation for comparing these two results? What is the reason? You do not know. I want you to impress on the effect of correct assumption of boundary condition so that the results will be appropriate for the design. So, if you assume hinge what happens? Suppose the actual condition is fixed and design it for a hinged condition, what will happen? You may not design the isolated footing properly, so your design will fail there. Suppose actual condition is fixed, actual condition is hinged, but you are assuming a fixed boundary condition, what will happen? This joint you will design it for P L by 2. And that means actual moment is P into L. That means this joint will fail. So that is why it is required that you have to calculate the bending moment properly, which will have more deflection. Hinge boundary condition or huh? hinge will have more deflection. So whenever you do the analysis before going for the design what you have to do is you have to not only check the bending moment, shear force, axial force, but also you have to check the deflection. Will there be any axial force in these members, this member and this member? Huh? You have three equations of equilibrium. Hmm? Sigma of all the horizontal forces to be 0, vertical forces to be 0, sigma of all the moment to be 0. Will there be axial force or not? But axial force will be there, no? You have a moment like this, you will have a tension here, have a compression here. Please do the analysis in STAT Pro. Hmm? What will be the reaction here? This will be P by 2, 
will be pi by 2 this is a horizontal force. So, this uh, p will p into l will give the movement about the base that will be counteracted by this tension and compression. So, you will have a tensile force and a compressive force both are equal and opposite. How many of you know STAT pro? Any software package? You please learn STAT pro under. You want to go for core engineering, you have to get into a job, you have to learn STAT pro. STAT pro is there in structures department? There or not? Yes, sir, no. You do not know. <laughs> please check, they may have uh, some other software also. What about our department? We have STAT pro. The department it is not there. And how did you learn? Sir, I worked uh, in Statro only, sir. Where? I worked in L N T Rambu. And you resigned and came here? Yes, sir. How do you how what about you? Yes, I know. Where? But the cracked versions are there in Statro. <coughs> and it is uh, recommended not to use that. So now we will come back to our problem. But uh, it is better not to assume uh, one condition is conservative and another is unsafe. Correct condition is required. Huh? People may think that I will do the design like this because this gives the conservative bending moment. But uh, if you go by this and design the foundation, foundation will fail. <laughs> the actual condition may be in between these two. Typically, these berthing structures are uh, having about uh, 20 25 meter spacing. So, we may have uh, 6 meter, 6 meter, and 8 meter spacing for this. This will be your level, and typically, the top level will be about plus 5, and the bed level is minus 15, and the founding level may be minus 30. This is a typical value is what we will do. <coughs> so, just like as we have drawn there, if we have a diagram like this, this uh, similar bending moment will come if you assume fixed rate depth. So, if you assume the virtual fixed rate depth, you will get the bending moment diagram like this. Suppose, instead of doing that, Suppose, I do the analysis by spring. One of the class I said that this spring spacing should be equal to the diameter of the pile. Do the analysis. Which, what will be the bending moment? This point and this point if you do a spring. Where do you expect maximum change, major change? Bending moment diagram will change, right? Where the bending moment diagram will change? Where the value will change? You have two points, top point and fixity point. Which point the bending moment diagram will change? Bending moment value will change. Both the points it may change, where it will change more. Who are all mechanical engineers here? Raise your hand. <laughs> are you following any of these things? Have you studied <coughs> bending one diagram and all? Shear force diagram? Which, uh, which semester? Huh? Third semester. Third semester. Which uh, department? Huh? Plate mechanics department? Yes. Huh? Or mechanical they have? Huh? What course? Theory of? Not here. I do not know what is AM double two double zero on that. What is the subject name? Strength of material. Which book you have followed? No book. Huh? Which book you have followed? Yeah? Huh? What about uh, civil engineering? I do not know the book. Huh? 
book is there and analysis? Yes. Did you see any book on potent nervous structure? No. Huh? Oh. You go to our library, yeah? two books I said, Gaitavit and uh, Agarsho. Huh? It's not there in the library, main library? I have given in the lecture notes, two books. This movement or this movement, which movement there will be change? Hmm? You tell me yeah, top point or fixity point? Huh? Top point. How many people top point? <laughs> Raise your hand. How many people are yeah, top point? Top level. Nobody. Bottom point? <laughs> Where you have changed the condition here only it will change. So, the, if you see the point of maximum bending moment, this may be only two third of bending moment. Suppose this is m, bending moment will be two third of m. You will have so much reduction. But there is a, this spring, if you want to do the analysis, this spring will be like this. That is, uh, the spring if the deflection is in this direction y and the force taken by this is p y there is a stiffness called as k this k will be p divided by y the stiffness of the spring it is a non linear curve but there is a maximum value which it will reach beyond which it will not go so what we have to do is when you do the analysis some plastic hinge will be formed plastic reaction will be formed, you have to remove the spring and put the bending moment in the opposite direction, then you have to plot the bending moment. Typically, this may be more than this value, but uh, less than the fixed point. This value will be more than this, but uh, this you understood no the soil has a capacity beyond certain level any amount of uh, deflection it goes the load will remain the same that is it reaches the plastic stage. So, you have to do a iterative method of analysis and you have to come to that point. So, because of all these uh, reasons people say you go ahead and do the design <laughs> as per this because this gives more movement here. This movement will be slightly only change top movement not very much change. Actually there will be a slight increase in bending movement at the top. Hmm? So, that is why we have to go for spring analysis. So, now uh, we have to see what this uh, spring analysis means. So, this particular problem we have diaphragm wall and piles we have used the springs at 1 meter because diameter of the pile is 1 meter. The spring spacing shall be nearly equal to the thickness of diaphragm wall or the pile diameter for effective modeling of soil support in finite element analysis. Finite element means the size of the element is uh, known. So, you should have discretization very close to correct answer. The spring constant each node are calculated as a reaction offered by the oil in the region spring force should be 0.5 meter above the node and 0.5 meter below the node. So, to calculate the spring constant there are various methods available. I will be giving one method using V6 formula for which uh, we use a modulus of subgrade reaction. This is a conceptual relationship between the soil pressure and deflection that is widely used in structural analysis. It can be used for continuous footings, mats and various types of piles also. So, this uh, subgrade reaction approach using soil springs can be used for this foundation also what we have discussed both lateral as well as end bearing. So, this uh, particular problem you can analyze with So, you can put the springs both vertical as well as horizontal then you will get exactly 
what bending moment diagram you can get. So the formula is uh, 1.3 divided by d, d is the diameter of the pile, this is 12th root of Es is uh, Young's modulus of soil p to the power of 4, this is Young's modulus of the pile into moment of inertia of the pile multiplied by Young's modulus of the soil divided by 1 minus mu square that is a Poisson's ratio. Generally Young's modulus of the soil is about uh, clay and all about one tenth of the Young's modulus of the pile. Young's modulus of the pile is nothing but Young's modulus of concrete which is 5000 root of Fck. This is a, mu is the Poisson's ratio of the soil not uh, concrete. So once you calculate this uh, Ks from the Ks you have to calculate the spring constants. Suppose you take this uh, spring at the intermediate node suppose somewhere here you take the spring this is Ki. So this is uh, Ki minus 1 this is Ki plus 1. So what this uh, figure shows is Ki will be Bl by 12 where L is the spacing between the springs. So if you want uh, Ki this is what we are using this Ki is nothing but this Ki, Ki is Bl by 12 So the, the soil will be layered soil, suppose the soil is uniform the KSI will be the same if KSI, KSI minus 1 and KSI plus 1 are the same then this will become 12 KSI the 12 and 12 will cancel then it will be equal to BL by BL into KSI is it clear it is the same soil this is uh, called as uh, Newmark's uh, method using finite difference method you find out the relationship at a particular spring because about 0.5 meter above the spring and 0.5 meter below the spring the spring spacing is 1 meter you have to consider. So to get the interaction of the soil above the spring and below the spring we use this. If it is the last node Kn, Kn minus 1, Kn minus 2 we get this expression Kn will be write it as Ksi minus 1 Ks, Ks, Ks. So Kn will be Vl by 24 multiplied by 7 Ksn plus 6 Ks n minus 1 minus Ks minus 2. So what we say is we want for the last spring this is affected by the one spring above and another spring above. This has more weightage 7 Ks n this has slightly less weightage 6 Ks n minus 1 and this is minus Ks n minus 2. So here it is 10 Ks i plus 1 Ks i minus 1 plus 1 Ks i minus 2. So this will be Bl into Ksi if it is for uniform soil if it is uh, uniform soil here it is Bl by 2 into Ksn. The assumption here is Ksn is equal to Ksn minus 1 equal to Ksn minus 2 okay we will see in the next class.